hello everyone so today in this particular video we are going to discuss about different phases of crop protection okay here you can see different phases are there like some five points are there five different phases are there time to time that has been developed uh, so those things we'll discuss particularly in this particular video Next, R. F. Smith. Okay, he is one uh, a famous entomologist. He has classified the worldwide patterns of crop protection in cotton agro ecosystem first. Okay, then uh, what happened? This can be applicable to other crop ecosystem also. So, who has given that uh, phases of crop protection? R. F. Smith has given in which year? 1969. Okay, uh, this uh, phases of crop protection he has given okay so one by one we will discuss now here you can see five are there first one is subsistence phase then exploitation phase then crisis phase then disaster phase and at last integrated control phase came you see i have given some colorings here that means what happened in disaster red danger sign in crisis somewhat less danger in exploitation again somewhat less danger subsistence it was very eco-friendly nature that's why i have given this one is green this one is also green this person uh, integrated control phase that ipm phase will come okay so like this five points are there one by one we will discuss first one you can see your subsistence phase that means the traditional one at that time what was happening the population was very less okay population was very less if population will be less then what will happen low demand of the food will be there so definitely what will happen at that time the farmers were not uh, highly appreciated for your higher demand higher yield okay so at that time they needed very low yield that's why they were not uh, using any kind of uh, input cost like irrigation facility fertilizer chemicals and all they were not using and low yield was there but still that was having a good value because at that time the demand was also very less after which what happened you see butter system was there at that time okay like what will happen they will give some commodity and they will get the food product in return so that much demand was not there and mainly the uh, management was on rely on the natural ecosystem like uh, the climate will uh, reduce the pest population or different predator present in the field they will feed on this pest population okay such kind of things were there host plant resistance was there plant were resistant towards the pest okay and uh, no use of chemical was there and uh, most probably uh, the chemicals were your botanicals like neem leaves and all they were using those things okay next one is your exploitation phase okay here what happened after the invention of ddt and all what happened farmers knew that if you apply these pesticides then automatically what will happen the paste will be reduced for which what they have done they have solely depended upon this chemical pesticides to control the paste not any other means okay then chemical control measures was exploited in the field in a large amount then uh, maximum uh, return also came the crop production the yield were boosted up next one you see that is your crisis phase okay c r i it may not be visible to you okay crisis phase was there okay so you see here what happened due to application of this high dose of application of pesticide okay no doubt yield has increased but some adverse effect also came towards the crop okay this is a starting of negative effect impact on the plant due to use of higher amount of pesticides pest resurgence was there here you can see due after application of the pesticide predator was there pest was there at first after applying the pesticide predator zero pest also some reduced and some were left then what happened predator is only one but pest population has increased so what is pest resurgence after application of the insecticide insect population is increasing abnormally that is your pest resurgence then coming to pest resistance in this picture you can see pest was there applied the insecticide some were killed but some were survived then what will happen their pest population will go on increasing that is what your pest resistance then pest status change like minor pest will become major pest then input cost has increased as compared to the output yield okay so these are the different negative impact of your 
crisis phase next one you can see that is your disaster phase what happened here cost of cultivation increased input cost increased crops were not grown profitably profit was not there okay frequently crop failure was there okay frequent crop failure was there you can see huh? that means input cost is increasing but output cost is decreasing yes or no we are giving 100 rupees of input but we are getting only zero so what will happen definitely farmer will be a will be fail, failed okay then uh, whatever they produce were there the condition suppose maize will come in that maize only few seeds were there so that is not having any market value okay produced due to residues okay again insect will be there found inside that maize those things will happen have happened finally collapse of the existing pest population control system crop failure farmer suicide everything has happened in this disaster phase completely destruction of the ecosystem has been there this is what your disaster phase then what now what is happening integrated control phases came here what we'll do we'll go for integrated method like combination of the resources different resources natural resources has to be utilized integrated farming system will be utilized so many method will be utilized which will reduce the pest population where chemical control will be the last option farmer has got more yield less input cost and more profit and farmers were happy okay optimization of the techniques analysis of eco factor how eco stable methods can be used okay then recognition or restoring the pests at manageable level manageable level okay pest reduction was there but pest elimination was not there because we are thinking about the ecosystem where predators will be there okay so this one is your what integrated control phase so if you want to have a summary then here you can see in subsistence phase no use of insecticide was there at this phase the use of insecticide started at this phase the negative impact started at this phase the whole system was collapsed at this phase again regaining those steps that means again a eco friendly sustainable agriculture practices has been started okay so this is the summary of this particular phases of your crop protection phase given by rf smith okay and uh, this is very very important try to understand these concepts and if any kind of doubt is there you can ask in the comment box thank you for watching have a nice day